Okay, the first thing is this is a pack of three um, Signo White, Uniball Signo White gel pens. I have one and it's my favorite one. So a pack of three is perfect. So let's see if I can try this out. These are, I find these are better than the um, jelly rolls, which tend to be very small and sort of dry, crust up around the edges. I also got some poems about you handmade watercolors in another haul video or in this one, not sure. But I do swatch though, I'm swatching those out and playing with them. I wanted some artist tape or washi tape or something to put around my watercolor paintings that I have blue frog tape, but it's so distracting. I don't want that influencing the colors around my my artwork. So I wanted white. And then this was a pack on Amazon for about $19.99. And it's kind of like medical tape or washi tape style. It's got that paper feel to it. And it comes in all these different um, sizes. A quarter, three-eighths, half, five-eighths of eighths of an inch, five six, one and one sixth, and it's by Medin, so I'll leave um, links for all my Amazon stuff. Uh, I got these on Amazon too, so I'll leave links for those. Next, I got these, finally, Posca pens. So, I didn't know where to buy these or what the best price was. I ended up just finally doing it on Amazon. So I'll leave the link to those. And this was the best price I could. This is like $35 prime. And then, but I wanted the silver and gold too. So I just got those separately. So that's a separate link. So these are the first time I'm using these and I really am interested in the difference of, um, of how this white pen will be different than say my Signa, Sigma, Signo, Signo jelly rollers. Um, so I'll just start this one now. I got the, the extra fine, the 0.7 millimeter. I think that's extra fine, it's 0.7. Here we go, started. So, very similar. I'm even liking this one better on this paper anyway so that's this one that's that one Posca versus Signo hmm ooh doesn't like the second it's destroying the paper so I won't even go there This one does nicer um, threads. This one skips a bit more. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it's it skips a bit more than this one. See that? It's definitely. So this is a little easier to control now that I've played with that. 
And anyway, so that will be, these will be fun to play with. Next thing I'm very excited about is this package here. This is from, um, it's called Curry's Art Store in Ontario, Canada. So any Canadians out there? I found these to be pretty good price. Um, apparently they're bigger bottles than the Ranger ones. Um, I was gonna get all three, the starter pack, but I have a lot of the regular, the pinatas and the Ranger, and I figure I have all those standard colors. So I just went, and I made a big order with other things, so I decided to put that money into something else. And I got these cool tones, which are like that, and the warm tones. So these warm tones are Snapdragon Pink, Coral Blush, Cabernet, Mojave Dust, Canyon Rust, Butterfly Orange, Ancient Amber, Autumn Yellow, Driftwood, Cafe Crema, Meteorite, and Golden Hour. And these cool ones are Lemongrass, Kelp Forest, Olive Grove, Sea Glass, Island Teal, Aegean Sea, Pacific Blue, Monsoon, Purple Iris, Wisteria, and volcanic ash and starlight silver so that's a silver and a gold so that is really cool and I added on to this pack everyone talks about how beautiful this is and I don't think I have this color this is pinata brass and I got a big one because I knew I'd use a lot because that's my favorite thing about alcohol inks is mixing them with metallics so and that is in another haul. I got these small little bottles. That is what I'm going to use them for. Plain alcohol and maybe blending solution. But also I can put it in here or I can mix my own colors in this uh, bag of bottles. I'll try to remember to put a link in Amazon for that. Okay, and then what else did I get? I forget. Oh, yeah. Pinata Pearl, which I don't have, and Pinata Copper. Very excited about those two, using those. Shake vigorously until ball rattles. Okay, so that's that. These T-Rex alcohol inks. I'm very excited to try them. This jumble here. So I'm sure you can tell what they are already. Most of these I got on Amazon because I just didn't want to wait. I think they're a little overpriced. Actually, Daniel Smith is already overpriced. Considering what we now know about the uh, the scandal about the non-light fastness and possible non-light fastness and the amount of the actual mineral or gem in the product, which, okay, we, my opinion is, okay, we... Maybe some of us assumed it was pure amethyst, but most of us knew deep down it wasn't full amethyst. However, I did not expect it was regular colors with a tiny about amount of amethyst crushed in there. And then the, the sparkles were mica, not actual sparkles from the actual gem. That is unacceptable to me for them to label on their only, see, pigment genuine sodalite the pigment is the colors they used if, if especially if it's over 70 percent um i think they're going to need to put out a statement that how much sodalite maybe they don't have to give away exactly the number but they have to say something like under five percent or over 70 percent or something like that because to me that's fraudulent that's deceptive not truth in advertising because I feel gypped. We pay a lot of money for these and if there's hardly any stone in it, then what's the point? So I have, let me just gather them out here. Okay, I told you what I really think, so don't come at me. That's just my opinion. Everyone has their own. Actually, I'd like to hear your opinion on it if you have an opinion. 
I, I'm trying to decide whether I still want to support this company because these were my favorite watercolors until I heard this. Um, but if they're being arrogant in their answers and not coming clean and being arrogant and all, I don't like that. I don't think I want to support that. But if they come clean and, and rectify this, I'll still buy them. Maybe not the Primatex because that's way too much money for just a tiny bit um, in there but well we'll see because I do love the paint so I don't know we'll have to see I'd love to hear your opinion because that's good for us to talk about so the ones I got here here's my here's my how many of them I have even if there isn't a lot of the stone in there anyway it's just the price it's not that it's that they're overcharging that's the problem okay so here's what I got Piemontite or Piemontite genuine sodalite which oh, I'm so excited about that uh, bloodstone genuine which I don't even like saying that now because it's like it's probably mostly just pigment with a tiny bit of bloodstone or or it's like none in there and they're calling it bloodstone oh that's that angers me anyway blue appetite genuine a big one and zoocyte a big one so those are my my new colors and I'll be swatching them out with my others as well so that's it for my haul okay everyone that's it for my haul um i hope you enjoyed it please give me a like thumbs up subscribe if you care to and click the jackson's link help me get some more and i can play with these and swatch them out for you thanks have a great day